Welcome to Sonar Pines weight training instructor. We're here today at Muscle Works Gym, Beth Green East London. I'm going to run through my hamstrings and calves workout. I'm going to kick it off with a prone leg curl. Excellent for the bicep femoris and popliteus at the back of the knee. I'm going to get some gastronemus and psoriasis in there. Check it out know what that is. Grab a handbook, it's got all those terminologies in there. So let's get going. First warm up set, 15 20 reps, mobilization, get it all going. Here we go. That's the mobilization set done. Always pick a weight you can handle for the desired number of reps. So let's define it in this way. The perfect set will be the heaviest weight you can lift for the desired number of repetitions on that set using a maximum range of motion with perfect cadence to absolute failure. Second set, first working set guys. This is a continual warm up set. Again, not super heavy. About 15 repetitions, and this FB is right. Increasing the weight ever so subtly. Just a small increase there. Here we go. Set two done. And that's the cadence of the rep speed. It was about one second up and about two seconds down. The reason for this is the eccentric or negative phase of the muscle is twice as strong. We talk about strength in three phases: concentric or positive, static being the second strongest, and the eccentric or negative being the strongest. So it makes sense. You come up, you hold and squeeze, contracting the fibers fully, and you lower the rep for twice the, the time. It takes to get to the top, so it's one second up, two seconds down. Real simple, guys. Okay, so this is the second working set. This is a progressive set now. So we've mobilized, we've warmed up. This is a progressive warm up leading in from the first one up set. So it's increased weight incrementally, not too crazy. 12 to 15 reps is going to get the job done here. Second working set done. Take about 30 to 60 second breather, and then we move into the get ready set. Okay, so we've mobilized, we've progressively warmed up. This is a get ready set now, so increase weight, so subtly again. We're not powerlifters, we're bodybuilders. It's about stimulating the fibers, 
bring them down, ready to feed it, rest, and get it to grow bigger and strong for the next session. So moving in, a small incremental increase, looking for 12 repetitions. take about a minute to a minute and a half if we go into an all out set which I'm going to utilize a technique that we have a wabbit here a drop set you'll see what that is in just a moment okay so this is your all out working set let's summarize mobilization warm up progressive warm up get ready set now we're moving to the working set all out set as I said I'm use all those drop set technique I'm going to select a weight as many as I can get, drop it, drop it, drop it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. the eccentric so I physically couldn't control the weight down on my steam muscles hit failure and all three phases of strength exercise done move on so this is the Cybex plate loaded single leg leg curl I find the design machine for me is much medial hip rotation and I'm not getting a good peak contraction in the hamstring muscles. So I adapt to using a good old fashioned step box. So pan in, we're going to try and slide this in position. I'm going to show you my stuff. So luckily, that fits beautifully for what I like. And now I can dispense with the pre designed knee pad, which I personally do not like to use. I think you get straight in there, old school bringing back the 70s as it should be golden era bodybuilding don't care what you say and we're going to really fire up those hamstrings total isolation Set number one, just a progressive warm through, 15 reps a game for myself. I believe in a medium to high rep range for legs fibers, especially my personal experience, it works well for me. Set, progressive warm up, still 15 reps, same weight as before.
few reps aside. Okay, set number three. Again, guys, we're not going to increase the weight. This is pure isolation. The way I set the machine up, as soon as the fibers are loaded, I feel this from insertion to insertion. Let me tell you, fatigue takes care of the intensity for me here. So, although the weight remains the same, I might only get 12 reps, but I'm going for 15. So, let's see what we get. Here. Fifteen aside. That's a wrap. That's the uh, preceding set. Now thirty to sixty seconds rest, guys. And we're going to all out set along three weight ever so subtle. Okay, guys. Now we've increased the weight just five kgs aside. So not looking to set any powerlifting records, but as I stated before, it's just pure isolation. Uh, we're hitting the bicep femoris, calf, gastric femoris, plantar which is a small muscle back of the knee. You are going to get some semi membranous and tenderness, but we will move exclusively onto that at the moment for compound movement. But for now, guys, we're going to finish on 10 to 15 reps, single leg leg curls. Let's get the job done. reps aside, shoot it for 15, I'm happy with that, I've got them, that single leg leg curl, second exercise completed, now we're going to move it on. So next exercise guys is a compound movement, a multi-joint movement, for hitting muscles across two joints. So there is a compound movement for hamstrings and this is one of them, stiff legged deadlift, Romanian deadlift, or in my case I'll choose a rack pull. This is going to stimulate the back of the leg, semi-tennis members to some degree, the femoris and also the glutes, the multifidus and uh, lumbar part of the back also is unavoidable. So I want to show you what's up. Rack pulls. Glutes are a powerful muscle, and the lower back's quite weak in my case. I'm in my 40s, and that goes after a certain age. So I've just warmed up the glutes and the lower back, and a progressive warm up into the hamstrings also. 
So just before we get into the uh, first working set, notice the setup. I'm in a power rack here. I've set the safety bars up. That when the Olympic bar lies across the safety bars, it's about two inches below the knee. This gives me enough range of motion or stretch and the main portion of the motion that I can engage the hamstring semi-member stimulus from insertion to insertion, both peak at the top of the movement and engaging in the mean at the bottom of the movement. So we've increased it by 40 kilos and I'll try and roll it set for 15 reps. Let's do a strap to game for me. Let's see what we got. breather and we move on to the next set. Okay guys so we've mobilized, we've warmed up, this is our get ready set. We've increased it now to three plates a side which is 140 kilos in new money. I'm going to try and go for as many as we can get. I'm going to rep like Let's jump in here and let's see what we've got going on. Okay, guys, posture is key. Pull that core in. I'm not joking. If you don't pull that stomach in a tense, seat, you're going to hurt your back. Get the hips low, and you're going to drive the speed of the hips and the shoulders together. And drive it to the top, pushing the heels and the big toe hiding to the ground. As follows. Guys, so this is the all-out working set now. We've got 180 including the bar. Uh, I'm not at my best today, but I'm not going to make excuses. The mind leaves the body. Anything more than 10 of are in business. And uh, as a good friend of mine says, if you rack it up, be prepared to back it up. Okay, Weber Warriors, let's get it. That's what I wanted. Rap pulls done. <laughs> 